Okay, so I did do a poll for this video to see what you guys actually wanted to see. I honestly wish that I could be like a choose your own adventure game. Um, apparently you guys all wanna know what I eat, which is kind of weird. I mean, we could summarize that entire video in five minutes because literally I just drink milk. Don't tell anyone. I just drink milk. I love milk. Also very interested in a week of workouts. So that's fun. So stay tuned if you want to see all this good stuff because it is coming eventually soon. But however, realizing that to film a week of workouts is going to take a week. That one's in motion. That one is in construction. Today, I'll tell you what I wear to the gym and what I have worn to the gym. Why I switch to what I wear now. And why there's some stuff that I don't wear to the gym anymore. And why some brands are honestly just kind of straight up cult. You know what else I just realized? I'm gonna be trying on all of the clothes that I own. I should probably have a shower. Yeah, I'm gonna go have a shower. How can you not have a good day when your coffee looks like a hug? Aww. Okay, I know you can't tell me looking at me, but we're squeaky clean. So squeaky, listen. <laughs> I was also hoping the sun was gonna make an appearance for us today. So I could really use some lighting. Oh, natural. But I guess we'll have to make do with all of this gloom. Oh. This is the best spot. Close this up. Whoa. Yeah. It's good. What, you've never seen a clothing review in the kitchen before? Guys, talks in the kitchen, kind of becoming our thing. This is like our special, aw, we have a thing. And we're back. That was supposed to be a, like a movie thing, like a clip cut. Uh, uh, baby shark. Okay, let's get physical. Shall we? Itty bitty, just a little itty bitty company called Lululemon. If you haven't heard of Lululemon, yes you have. The iconic line pant. Now these pants, these pants are everything that they say they are. They feel like butter. They literally melt onto your skin. When you're wearing these, it truly feels like you're wearing no pants. These will always hold a special place in my heart because there's still nothing like it. There's still nobody that has tried and succeeded at duping the Lululemon Align pants. Now, let me tell you, when I say these feel like butter, these are also fragile as butter. And I still wear them to the gym. I, w I work out in these. I work out in these for years. They're the most comfortable thing to work out in. Just enough compression on the waistband, not squishing you, just hugging you, just like a little hug, just like a slow, just like a little, like a soft little puppy hug. That's what they feel like, okay? The place in my heart where these belong was shattered because of this. Can you please tell me who thought of this? Who thought of all the places on a lower half of your body to put a seam as straight and structured as this seam that this is the best place? Please tell me. You know what? They came out with the cutest colors. Honestly, like living for this marbled collection. So flattering that it's not just like a flat color. But again, they don't compete anymore. And it hurts me to say that it does. The Align Shorts, another amazing innovation until the next one came. Immediate next innovation, which was no seam in the front. Aligns are one of those funny things where I kind of have moved them into a position to flatter my body. For example, they're actually supposed to fit like this because they're technically a six inch short. And they also typically look like this in the back. And I do this funky little scrunchy little thing to move them into the right spot. But I mean, if you know, you know. Lululemon's successor. The cult that converted me, if you will. A household name that took the nation by storm. Alpha Elite. Amplify, to be specific. They've eliminated the front seam. Altogether. These are very potentially the most flattering piece of clothing I've ever put on my body, okay? Alpha Elite, I don't know how. I don't know what they did. I don't know how they did it. But they just stuck a little sun sum in there because this pant is filling the void that that Lululemon left me with. A front seam, it's old news, old school. Alphalee assessed the situation, took control, and made a change, 
okay, Lulu, if you're listening. And for that reason, I'm out. Now the Alpha Lead Amplify, I honestly can't speak for any of the other products like I could with Lulu. However, I trust them. They've earned my trust. Waistband, perfect tightness. Compressive, not uncomfortable. Butt scrunch, sneaky, classy. They don't stretch out a ton when I wash them, like a Lululemon. The waistband keeps you absolutely snatched. And the booty and leg area has room to grow. And that's what we need. We are a growing peach and we need space to grow, space to move. They have taken my heart and taken my wallet. And what's a better tell of a good product than an empty wallet? That's all I'm saying. And finally, we have the Activewear of the Sea Gym Sharks. Specifically, the Gymshark Vital Seamless Collection. Trying to compare seamless styles between each brand. So like, this is probably what comes closest. This fit is just not it for me. The way, like it seems so secure and just a few washes and it just kind of loses its shape. And I want to say this in the nicest way possible. It's a no from me. The stretch, the fabric is great. I love the material. It's just, it's not a perfect fit in my opinion. I find the waistband stretching a little bit upsetting. Like even just comparing these unwashed pair in blue to the washed pair in orange. The unibutt has always been an issue with Gymshark. They still can't seem to solve the butt scrunch. So again, it's just in the back. The only thing we have here is just a seam. So in direct comparison, an alphalete short has this little scrunch and it's not even an actual scrunch. It's the seam and then they just have like a textured little channel here. It's just, even just without a butt inside them, they just look so cute. And there's so much room for the peach, right? Look at these, flat, flat butt. That's how I feel when I wear these shorts. Okay, Vital Seamless may be out. However, an absolute curveball, the paws set from Gymshark. A really strange, intimidating texture and fit. Honestly, it wouldn't have caught my eye from the website. However, bless your eyes with this beautiful post that I came across from Morgan wearing this green paws set. I saw this, I'll be honest. I was sprinting to purchase this set. That was the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. This is a winner, winner, chicken dinner. And needless to say, I'm in love. Now, obviously it doesn't have the compressive waistband the other Gymshark sets. It's more of maybe like a lounge athleisure wear set, but like the whole all around pant is still a tight, like it's still tight. These bralettes, I am not exaggerating when I tell you, but I got these in every color, not even in the sets. I love these. This has been my favorite top for all activities and this will be my favorite top until further notice, okay? Gymshark pause set. If you don't have this set yet, run. I got a little bit worked up about the Alpha Lee Amplify. I'm sure you can tell why. Out of the three brands, three brands that I've frequented, I would still have to say Alpha Lee, just like as an overall, takes the cake for me. And the durability and the fabric retention is there. And honestly, they're just heckin' cute. They make me feel so dang good in the gym. And I think that's like probably the most important part. That's probably the most important part about your activewear. That so you feel heckin' cute. Okay, so overall, considering all the factors here, considering fit, function, look, quality, and price, I'd have to still go with Alpha Elite. An Alpha Elite short retails for what, $50? A Gymshark similar? I wanna say an Align short is up to about $75 now. And don't even get me started on Align pants. But I mean, Lululemon, I get it, you do you. If you got it, flaunt it. Alpha Elite's just got it in the bag from you right now. Uh -huh. Put this chair here. Oh, ow! What? You're looking at me like you've never seen a clothing review um, in the kitchen before. So maybe this is your first time. Welcome to Kelsey's Kitchen Reviews. Wow, is this gonna be a series? Kelsey's Kitchen Reviews? Let me know in the comments if you want a new series of Kelsey reviewing things in the kitchen, okay? 
because I'll do it. I'll do it right now. I'll review whatever you want. Ready? This coffee, Kelsey's Kitchen Coffee Reviews. One sip, everyone knows what Honestly, it's kind of cold. Who made this? I mean, I would love to try something else new because clearly being culty about one brand is like, just keeps you in a box, you know? Who wants to live in a box? If you like this video, please subscribe. If you didn't like this video, please subscribe. Okay, bye, love you.